Hi guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the video number 539. My name is Ajay Pramar and uh, you are watching right now this video on the youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar. So in this video today 539, uh, I'm going to talk about three very important, very advanced features in Excel, right? And uh, if you're working uh, in the analytics department, if you're working as a business analyst or you are in the MS analytics you know uh, team or maybe I mean your work is uh, is uh, all the day you know you work on Excel then I'm sure you must be uh, dealing with the pivots because pivots are the fantastic tool uh, uh, we have got in you know Excel to summarize the date uh, the, the data right so you can make beautiful reports and by the way if you do not know anything about the pivots please go and catch the playlist Excel uh, pivots and the charts and I I think uh, so far we have uploaded their 12-15 uh, videos in a very proper systematic way. So go and have fun there. But today in this video, uh, we, will be uh, we will be talking about the three important features, right? But I'm not here to talk about the basics of the pivots. Now before I go further, this is the playlist sequence for you. Please pause the video and note it down because uh, I uh, get requests from you uh, if you want to learn the excel excel vba access or access vba how you can you know go and which uh, playlist you uh, should watch first because there are so many videos right so this is the playlist sequence and uh, go and start your learning today okay now i uh, i have got this um, the data the stock market data where you can uh, see that we have the serial numbers and the date when the stock is purchased or it is bought and then the company names and then you know the quantity it is actually taken right so this is just a dummy data and uh, we're gonna make the pivot out of it and then we will be talking about the three important things so the first thing which we are going to do is uh, now basis the quantity if you want to find out find out the ranking you know you want to find out the ranking in the ascending order or in the descending order that which actually particular share has got the you know the maximum you 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 have purchased it you know the number of uh, the items it is purchased in terms of the quantity so if you want to see that in the uh, in the terms of the ranking so that we can easily see that which share we have got you know bought the the maximum number of times and which share has we we bought the you know the least number of times so that is that is the first thing note on the second thing uh, you must be seeing this on on your screen right now so the second thing is that which is very important that what if you would like to see that of the total uh, purchase you know i'm not talking about the cell we will filter the cell from here okay the cell item we will filter we we are just going to talk about the buy so if you have let's say bought the total your shades uh, holds let's say uh, maybe two thousand dollars two thousand rupees right and you want to see that what is the percentage of each share to that the total the amount which you have so far invested in the share market so that's something the second uh, uh, thing we are going to talk about the third thing which we're going to talk about is that how to actually do the cumulative sum how to sum them the previous value keep on adding with the current value so these are the three important features as a MIS you should know that right so let's go and create the pivot first of all so I just go and select the data and I go in the insert and uh, we will hit on the pivot table so I go and create the pivot table first of all and uh, so let's say I go and create this in the new worksheet guys I click on the ok and now I pull my these companies here so I have my company here and now this is a buy and sell so we can put that filter over here and I can say that you know it's only for the buy okay so now you want to calculate the quantity so I'm gonna put the quantity over here so this is your quantity now this is a very very simple obviously the pivot let's give the give it a some sort of maybe the color okay uh, so I go and choose some design from here let's say and make sure that we can have this um, the report layout in the tabular form so that we can have the headers so this is how your right now the pivot looks like right now now what is the next thing I was telling you so let's talk about the question number one now if you want to see now these are the different different you know the the companies right and I want to see that which company has got the maximum number of you know the quantity purchased okay bought so 
how we can do that right so one of the best way is that you just directly take the advantage of the spirit now this option is applicable in the excel 2010 and the above versions right so if you just go and right click here and here now look at this you get the value here called the show value as when you right click on the pivot cell right so when you click on the right uh, when you do the right click on the pivot what you need to do is over here you can give that rank smallest to largest and largest to smallest so you can use whichever option you want to use right now i'm going to use the smallest to largest now look at this so if i click here and this option will come so you obviously want to make your base feel as simple because base is that i'm gonna actually you know do the ranking if you have more headers when you click here you can change that but we just keep it as symbol symbol means actually it's a stock you know the stock name i click ok and look at this guys now these numbers are coming now the thing is that uh, it's very difficult for us to remember you know that uh, uh, what was the quantity you know we actually bought in you know so why don't we just go uh, and do one thing that instead of having the just the ranking system we should have the numbers also right isn't it that would be i think great so what you can do you can undo it Control z now i go here and go to the you know i right click on the pivot and show field list and in the field list what i will do i will again add this now this is something new exciting for you you know i'm just adding the same field again <laughs> right so now why i'm adding this obviously because here i will put the ranking now and this number we can easily see i really love this option and i'm sure you're also loving this option so i right click again and i go uh, show value as uh, now you can see that my cursor is on the column c right because this is where i actually want to show the ranking now when you are done with this press ok now look at this now guys what what does that mean now basically it means that the sh you know if, if you have bought in this uh, share you know with the quantity of 9440 it stands actually on the 17th ranking which means that I think if you have total how many companies how many companies we have so let me just select that so we have got 25 companies so far you can see here if I'm counting it you know over here uh, on this task bar right so these are all basis that you know the sequence we we, we are actually getting here the these the now if you are wondering that why we are not getting here you know 25 or 24 because if we have got these many companies well there are some you know tie ups happening here you can see here right so now i'll tell you one thing how how you gonna read it first of all understand now if you look at the first uh, the ranking which we you know which is given to the share the first ranking which is given to the share look at this over here uh i just go and show you look at this guys now this is a share you know this is a company which we have uh, bought it just the 300 quantity 300 shares right and i don't think so that you have uh, got any share you know below that because this is the i think the minimum right so that's why guys this is the ranking number one right because remember we uh, given the ranking from the smallest to the large you know uh, that uh, the largest uh, the number right so you got here one what about the two so we can go quickly and see that where we have the two now this is the 400 makes sense right because after 300 this is the next company right of which i bought you know 400 shares right so now this is two and look at this there's another let's say company which is a bank yes bank and this is also bought at 400 so the tie is happening tie we have a tie here and that's why it's showing us two i really should have given here the rating three the ranking three but because we have the same numbers so that's why we're getting here this is the same number right so similarly if you do the calculation like this you get here the last one i think is the 17 right so this is a very very useful option you can use this right uh, the ranking in the smallest in ascending order descending order whatever way guys you want to use it that's all up to you okay now if you go further and you know uh, just uh, make your make your cursor over here and you say that data and you just click on the sort and let's say you want to say that sort smallest to largest when you click here this is also something you can do you can uh, even the sort the ranking if you want to have a look i think this is also a better way of looking at the things first you create the rankings you know going to the right click and then using this option rank smallest to largest or largest to smallest uh, largest to smallest obviously will reverse the order then you will get the ranking against every company which could be 100 50 55 you know random numbers and then just select that this cell and go over here in the sort and you know sort it in the ascending order so now i can quickly see that all right so this is all the shares you know they are going in this way so we have got the this company you know we have got the maximum number of you know the quantity the share purchased right 
I hope this is wonderful for you. So this is the first the the feature which I was telling you. Now to see the next feature again I go and right click here show field list and again I'm gonna add the same quantity over here to show the numbers. Okay. Some of you uh, I'm sure must be wondering that uh, uh, that is it also possible that you know we can add the same header again and again. Yes, guys. We can add that right uh, there has to be some purpose obviously because otherwise why would you go and add the same header again and again so basically what we are doing we are keeping this as it is and on the rest of the headers we are doing are uh, you know the other calculations now in this particular example now what I want to do now you know that if you look at this the total invested the total quantity which we have got is 58405 you know so let me just go and paste it over here right now I'll show you one thing you can also check the percentage as I was talking about that how many this quantity is in the if you want to see how many you know what is the proportion of this quantity to the total you know the percentage so we can do that very easily so now you click on this quantity 3 right click over here and go here in the show value as and now we can see that the percentage of the grand total don't use the column total because column total means that if you have let's say more headers over here and they're going in across the column right so we don't need that we just uh, we are focused only on the grand total so I need the percentage you click on the percentage and look at this guys you got the percentage right so we have got this is obviously point just 0.5 percent of the total investment which you have done if you want to quickly see that you know how it is coming maybe you can go and you know divide this 300 and before I do that let me just make sure that this uh, you know in the pivot I should not be using the get pivot because that's gonna create the problem for me so so let me go to the analyze so first you select the uh, this pivot and now from here let's just uncheck that generate pivot data if you do not know this generate get pivot data you must know this option my friends if you're working in MIS seriously and I have a uh, uploaded a video you know under the playlist Excel charts and the pivots you can go and check that so anyways let's go back and um, so I just go and show you is, is it correct or not so we divide this um, 300 by this number which is the total and I press F4 because uh, going down it should not be changed so you can see here that we are getting the correct numbers if I just think change this to percentage and I just increase the percentage signs from here look at this guys make sense right so that's all no need to do now all this separately you have this option and you can use it right so now the next the last thing which uh, which is uh, the cumulative sum if you want to find it out then again I go to the right click show field list and I go and again add the quantity just to show you how it is going to work now here you right click here and again you can use this you know the the show value as and now here you can uh, you, you to get the cumulative what we can do is uh, we can you know use this option sorry I just uh, missed my this my right click is actually creating some problem today uh, so let me just go back to this and yeah so I just go and click on this running total okay and so once you do that click okay and now you can see that guys you have got the another cumulative sum now look at this 300 coming 300 because this is the first item now in the 400 now what we have done the previous 300 is added so we you see here this sum 700 similarly then 700 plus 400 makes it 1100 then 1100 500 makes it 1600 then 1600 plus 500 makes it 2100 then 2100 plus 500 makes it 2600 so it's a cumulative sum which is getting added right so again you can do this obviously without the pivot also but we have the option in the pivot so there's no need to go and create the same formula in the separate column right so these are the three options I wanted to discuss it with you I hope uh, this will take you to the new heights now because these are very very useful options and uh, generally uh, uh, as a MIS person you know uh, we, we are not aware about these options right so I thought that you know to go ahead and uh, let's talk about these options today 
so thank you so much for your time and uh, thank you so much for your love uh, we have got 5000 subscribers so this week uh, we are celebrating our 5000 subscribers and i whenever i get your comments on the channel that you are really loving my work and uh, you know you really appreciate it then guys uh, there is just one request of course a big thank you to all of you but please uh, you know uh, spread this uh, the, the you know the information uh, please uh, let the other people also know about the channel because these 500 uh, plus videos are only for you right and you know that on these on on my channel you'll find everything every topic right uh, other than one or two topics which i'm gonna cover very soon uh, and the good part is that you'll find the basic videos intermediate level videos advanced level videos and super advanced level videos everything under these 50 playlists which i share so thank you so much for your love and uh, for your support. Uh, I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.